just having a look at our little lawnmower stash. See you in a minute. Well, we're in the poly tunnel at the moment, as you can probably see. Not been in here since last year, properly anyway. But we thought we'd have a little look around, see what we got in here, and uh, what are you going to try and do? Get rid of some stuff? Yeah, just about what I'm not going to get around to doing. Yeah, let's show you what we got. This one here, Yeah. this is a big American one, isn't it? This one is, yeah. It's got a holy deck in it, as you can probably see down there, but uh, this engine, Briggs and Stratton. Yeah, self-drive. It's a self-drive, but you just want to get it out now, so you're going to put that on uh, Facebook or something as spares or repair. Yeah. And it's got them big wheels on the back, isn't it? The big American wheels. That's it, yeah. We don't really have them over here, but I mean, they do do them, but... Uh, uh, what else you got here? What's this here, then? What's this little baby? Yamaha Viti. Oh, what? Viti 125, Yamaha. Right. This is something you've picked up pretty cheap, and... Uh, what have you got in here? Oh, it's got a... You've got any works to do with it? Yeah, it's got a little uh, little bit of paint. Just give the panels a clean down. Yeah. Just waiting for the log book before I can do anything. Oh, though. right, so it's all there, though, isn't it? How many miles has it done? Kilometers. Is it kilometres? I'm not sure. Miles. That's miles on there, is it? Yeah, well, well it's alright though. And then we've also got um, quite a lot of these. Do you know which ones are yours here? This one's yours here, isn't it? These one, two, three, four, and then behind you. One, two, three. Say that again. From that yellow one back, the yellow one's yours. Right. And the orange one's yours there. Right. So these four. Oh, right. One, two, three, four. Plus these three. Oh, right, so that's mine all along there. That whole line and the front ones. Oh, right, well, that's fair enough. So We've got loads of boxes, as you can probably see there. All different types there. This is your roof off of your... Um, Sephira. Sephira, isn't it? So the polytunnel. Now, this polytunnel, as you know, I've had this up now for about five years. And it's been through all sorts of weather, as you know. And uh, although it's a bit dirty at the top, I'm a bit... Sort of... I don't really want to jet wash it. Because it might blow straight through in the plastic sort of thing. So... Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. It keeps it cool in here in the summer, actually. Well, it will do. It's uh, more opaque now, isn't it? So, so that's that. So yeah. So we're just having a little look around here, as I say. Want to try and get these all cleared out, maybe this year sometime, and uh, we'll take it from there. A lot of these aren't. Well, most of these are Briggs and Stratton engine lawnmowers, as you can probably see, with the uh, 35 Classic on. So uh, if we can't do anything with the mower, then we've got loads and loads of spares there. But they need to be taken apart, perhaps, and uh, categorised and whatever. So loads to do. So here's the little sunken engine uh, Honda WX10 pump, which as you probably know, had the uh, water pump fitted on the back there. I'm not gonna fit the water pump back now because I think you can get an adapter to go on there, like a clutch mechanism. Take it off of this base, and uh, this will make a nice little engine for a little, like a motorbike conversion or a little push bike conversion. So I'm gonna be doing that. Let's start this up for you. Now, if you see me video on restoring this, this was a right pig to start. So, choke half on. Let's try it now. It really wants that handle that you had on it, but uh, let's have a look. We'll do it if I turn the switch on. <laughs> that pull cord there, that's because I've got the wrong size pull cord in there, by the way. So I need some smaller pull cord, then it'll go in all right. So don't worry about that. There we go. Little throttle control. So you can run that throttle off of a cable as well. But lovely little engine. And that thing, as you probably know, had been in a pond. It had fallen into a pond when it was running. It was obviously pumping some water out. Fallen into a pond, glug, glug, glug to the bottom of the pond. Whoever had it then fished it out of the pond and just put it into storage. It didn't do nothing with it. And it stayed there for years and years. So if you see my retro hatch channel, you see me restoring this and the troubles I had restoring it as well. But uh, as you can see, it runs lovely now. And by putting a, I think you could say you can get a clutch assembly to go on this pulley wheel here. 
and then it'll be ideal for a little mo little motorbike or scooter conversion. I've got a sh Shrin chopper bike over there, so I might even put that on there. Nice little light engine. Look how light that is. Look, absolutely nothing in it whatsoever. And uh, it being a Honda engine, should be hopefully reliable as well. So that's what I'm going to probably do with that. I've also got this engine here. Now this one, I've been, I left this outside after I restored. Well, I didn't restore it. I got it going. This was part of the same batch. And I did spray the walk the tank, but as you can see, look at the paint on it now, look. I left it all outside and the blinking paint's all bubbled up on it, look, so uh, it's a beautiful, but I will take that all down and spray it all again. As you can see, look, so that's that. Let's see if this one, I haven't started this one again. But I didn't restore this one, I restored it to running condition. This was the first one on my Retro Hacks channel that I looked at. And everyone said, that's not a proper restoration, blah, blah, blah. No, I restored it to running condition because this was part of a batch of engines that I'd got. Coming over here, as you can probably see, that's the rest of them there. There's three more left down there, all Honda engines. And I, as I say, I restored it to running condition. I didn't restore it as I've restored that one. So let's see if we can start this one. This is a cold start, not started for a long time. Let's have a go. Now, as I say, I don't hold out too much hope for this one because uh, has it got petrol in it, first of all? I don't even know that. Yeah, it's got petrol in there. So we know we've got fuel. We've got a cutout switch on there, which we need to turn on. Um, I'm not too sure about the throttle position. It's probably in the low speed to start off with. The fuel tap, is that in the on position or what? That's on. That, I'll take it's a choke. And I can't see through there, so I don't know which way the choke is on or off. So let's try it that way. This one, the pull called stiff as well. Oh, there's a kick back there. That's promising. And again, with this one, when I bought this one, the uh, the exhaust was totally corroded and rusted off. So I bought a new new exhaust on that one. I did strip the car down. I can't actually remember now. It's quite a while ago now since I've done that. But two good engines now, and I've got these ones to go. Now this is another one here. Look. Again, I've not even looked at these. That looks like another a water pump one. That's probably that feels seized up as well. So again, another one there. That one. What number? Has it got a number on this at all? Is it? What motor it is, don't know, but again, the pull cord's missing off of that one. Look, so I'm not too sure there, but that's another little project. Um, that one there, I don't know. Again, the pull cord's missing off of that one as well. I don't know what that one is. That's a bigger one again, isn't it? But again, all Honda, and this one here is a little generator, but uh, again, whether or not it's really heavy, this one to lift up so. That's the electric motor on the back there causing that, but I don't really think that should be used as a generator. Could probably use this for another thing. But that's three more Honda engines, as I say. And these two were in the same sort of condition. That one, as you know, was the worst one because that was, was underwater. But even this one now, this one's fine, so I'm happy with them. You say they're, they're Honda engines, they're, they're very reliable, and I can put them to good use for something else. Right, he's got the little bike out. I think this is turning into a, an old start, cold start video. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll call this an old start. We get away, Bison. Bison, away, mind that camera. I think we'll call this an old start, cold start video. Right, coming in, let's see how you go. See if we can get it running. About six weeks. About six weeks he ain't tried this. Oh, hello. That's smooth, isn't it? Sounds all right, isn't it? Started up a treat, isn't it? Pretty clean. As you can see there, you've actually cleaned all this up, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna put what else you've got to do with it? Just clean the fairings and all that up now. All the engine bits been done. Then it go for the MOT. Just had the brakes adjusted on it. 
So as you can probably see, it's a nice tidy little one two five this. And uh, as I say, you have to do a few jobs to it, get it running and all that. But uh, as you can see, nice and tidy. It's been looked after by the looks of it, so uh, he picked it up pretty reasonable. As I say, it needed work doing to it, he's had the work done. Little four stroke Yamaha 125. Right, that's three cold starts we've done now. Let's try that American lawnmower. Let's see if we can get that running. Right, it's got a big old deck. It's one of these where it can spit stuff out the side. But as I say, all this side's totally rusty. Let's show you a bit nearer. That's just the standard Briggs and Stratton engine, isn't it? That is, yeah. Yeah, and it's self-propelled. And a lot of the American mowers have self-propelled on the front wheels. Ones over here in the UK tend to go for the rear wheel drive. So, front wheel drive. And as you can see there, look, the deck is a uh, shot on that side. I don't know, probably would have been in there. Oh, it's not worth it's going down the front there and all that, is it? Be a good mower, that, actually, wouldn't it? Would, yeah. Um, is there any other rot on it? No. No? It might be worth just taking that cover off there. Seeing how far under that rust goes. It's only down on that outside edge there, isn't it? On there, yeah. Well, it's just welded in the... Just cut that out with a... Um, Cutter blade, and then just weld a bit of another curved bit of metal in there for an old rotten deck. We might have an old rotten deck with a bit of curved metal anyway. So see how it fires up first, anyway, because it, it could uh, could be a nice mower if it's only that. As I say, you ain't started it at all, have you? So this is a, a cold start as well. Old start, cold start. You primed it. What are you thinking now then? You better weld it up. <laughs> weld it up. That's quite a bit, that's a big deck mower though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know how big it is. Oh, did you buy this or what? I don't know. 15 quid. 15 quid you paid for it. 20, I mean, 21 inch. 21 inch is a big cut then, isn't it? As I say, it's that just that bit of rock round there. Um, I think that can easily be fixed, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think we'll have a go at fixing that. Not to sell, to keep hold of. Might use that instead of uh, our own mower if I give you one of my mowers. What, you want to buy it? Hey? You want to buy it? <laughs> you can buy it, I've got to do the work on it. I think it's a 2001. You was talking about getting it, getting rid of it. What was you going to ask for it? Oh, 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there though, isn't it? No, it's a good mower. I I'm surprised that ain't started up for a long time. Is that bracket? How's that bracket moving? Oh no, that's uh, an arm bracket. I thought the bracket was bending, but it's not, is it? That's how it goes. Yeah. Super caddy, as I say, it's a big old mower, though, isn't it? I'm thinking of your mother for Christmas. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I know, box. birthday. Big old box on it, isn't it? Big old bag. Thing there. What's that? Oh, a little flap, yeah. For the grass, isn't it? For what? Brushes the grass, doesn't it, each way? Yeah, so you might get lines with that, isn't it? Or sort of. That's the price gone up. That's the. <laughs> That's not too bad. How what could take the point? No, it's something like that, isn't it? Yeah, it's alright. Nice little mower. You didn't get the attachment with it that comes out the side, did you? No, I see it's. Oh, we're back down to 15 quid then. Wow. Well. Eh? Oh, yeah, look. It's only on. See, the, the rock's only on that edge there, look. Clean under there, isn't it? It is clean under there. Blade just wants sharpening, that's all it wants. That's the price gone back up there. <laughs> no, it's alright. I think you can. Uh, we'll let, we, you can give that for your mother for her, her birthday shortly. Right, well, I'll leave that out. We might do some welding on this one, so keep that one available. Uh, where are you going to put it? I'll just push it back in there. Oh, good. Push it back in there for now. Put your stuff away, and we've got to go out the front. I'm going to get the transit van, move that about, because I want to try and probably do a bit of work on that today. And also, we've got to get something out the back of the transit van. He's been using it as a storage container. Uh, something which he's going to photograph and put on sale. So let's get out the front. See you in a minute. Right, 
yet another cold start, old start. Let's, uh, I've disconnected the battery, so I've got to connect the battery back up. Look at that since I put that new lock on there. Fantastic, isn't it? Again, this ain't been started for a bit. Let's have a go. The old tranny. Right. Let the light go out. Look at that, first time. Great starter, isn't it? Yeah, look, 144,000 miles. I thought it was 150 odd, but it's 144, so. Here we go. Just a bit dirty inside. I've still got work to do down there, as you know. The uh, all got to be painted and the trim's got to be put back on. Yeah, so there you go. I've got to leave it out, we've got to get your thing out the back, haven't we? Yeah. Alright. There. There we go. All works on the key. Right, so. What have we got in here? Right, as you can see, we've got this old wood. Is it a wood lathe, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we've got to get this out. This is the old back panel, which I don't use, but uh, I kept it for the metal work, to be honest with you. So, let's just get this out. Hey? Table saw, not a lathe. Table saw, rather, it's not a lathe, no. Um, yeah, just a table saw, isn't it? Right, did that all come out in one go? Yeah. You want me to get in there? No, well, that's all. Big old thing, isn't it? Yeah. Right, this is a Chopsmith saw, router, whatever it is. Uh, as you see, the poles have uh, basically the chrome side of the poles, but you'll be able to buff all that up, whoever buys this, and uh, they'll polish up back to bare metal and you can wax them or grease them or whatever. That'll come up with you know, like a lot of grinder. Not yeah. a grinder, a, a, a floppy disc or a flappy disc or whatever. So what are you gonna do? Give it a wipe down and yeah, I'll give it a bit get some pictures. Well. You might as well just get some emery paper on that and just give them a quick rub over. Just give them a bit of oil up before you take the pictures and uh, happy days. So here's the inside of the back of the transit. As you know, I was gonna convert this to a camper van, but uh, got too many cars in the drive now. So once I clear all this out, um, it'll be. I've got, well, I've still got this work to do on it, you see. As you know, last year I've done this, there's new arches on that, underneath new seal all the way along. And a uh, bit of rust on the bottom of that door, but I can take all that in when I do the body filling. So I'm going to do this now, I think I will going to do it. I've got someone interested in buying it at the moment, but uh, I might as well just do this to make a few more videos. I was going to do the back door, but I don't think I'll bother now. Whoever wants it can put it. You can pick them up for about £50, put a new door on it, basically. So that's that. And as you can see where it's been standing outside, it's got a bit of surface rust on it now. I will just give that um, a grind back. And I've got a little bit more welding to do down on this corner section down here, so I'll finish that off. I'll get all this painted in now, as I say, because that's all uh, ready to be painted in. And I'll just tidy up the wheel arches at the front there. Nothing too drastic. Uh, you can buy replacement panels. I'm not going to bother doing it. As I said, it's not a restoration job, this. It's just a working van, 2001. It's had new brakes on the back, don't forget. I've done the... Uh, the drums and the uh, pads, uh, shoes in there. New handbrake cable all the way through. So it's got a tow bar, a tow bar on there. I had that put on. That was a few bobs worth as well. That all works. I don't think there's much more to show you, to be honest with you. 
rest of the van is pretty much okay it will need a new wheel bearing on the driver's side it's over 60 miles an hour it makes a little bit of a whiny noise but uh it has been through the last two mot's like that and it's, it's not a problem but uh, i will i was going to get it done i'm not going to bother i'll just knock that off the price as i say to uh to the new buyer plus i'll let them know anyway so there you go there's a transit van old start cold start just going to change the fuse in the plug top yeah you can do that can't you he's found some more bits with it and all let's show you what he's got this is what come with it look you've got these uh whittling blades there obviously so there's some sort of a uh, jiggery pokery there and looking around it as i say it's uh it's got this flat top saw on, on there as well and it's got a, a it's got a rotary motor there isn't it it does rotate that so there's got to be a spindle on here somewhere that's the centers for the spindle there and through there you must be able to put There's a bit of an expansion plate here, isn't it? Is there an expansion plate there? You must have a bracket or something there that goes on there where you can put a, a length of wood there so that you can um, spin the wood. Shopsmith. Shopsmith, yeah, not Shopsmith. Shopsmith. Alright, he's going to plug it in. Don't know what we've got here. We'll turn it on. Where's the switch? There. But it's in table saw mode isn't it yeah so obviously you take some things off there you probably take that that wheel off there you put another spindle on there and you can spin wood there look there's a center point there for the uh, wood yeah. and then you put the rest in there that vertical rest there i would say might go into one of these things yeah. there yeah that's just the guide like for yeah. guiding the wood in isn't it just wants to clean up that net you just found it happy days that'll do someone won't it but as i say it's no good to have to bring the woodworkers so that's it don't know how much it's worth, we'll find its own price when it goes on the, online and uh, just say it's been sitting in the back of the van for ages. Now I'm getting rid of the van, it's prompted him to do some work on this, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, hope you've enjoyed this video, we'll see you in the next one and until then, bye for now.